Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, I put this one up a long time ago, but tonight I want to do our parties and celebrations and things like that. And since we're coming up to the happy holidays, as we're supposed to say to be politically correct, which I'm not really politically correct, so we're coming up towards Christmas, and you're all going to be going around trying to get a free lunch off people and free drinks and things like that. Very nice one to do at that time. At that time, First off, you instruct them to shut up and sit there and just watch. Say nothing. They can ruin it if they start saying things. Yeah, so you tell them just to sit there and shut up. You see me shuffling the deck. During the shuffle, I've actually gone and got the Ace of Hearts to the bottom of the packet. You did see it, the Ace of Hearts. We will put the Ace of Hearts just there onto the table. I will now give the packet a bit of another shuffle. Yes, just to keep everything nice and fair. Because I want everything to be nice and fair, for obvious reasons. I will give the cards another shuffle just to be twice as fair. Like so. But during that very fair shuffle, I have now gone and got the Ace of Clubs to the bottom of the packet. Right? And we'll put the Ace of Clubs right next to the Ace of Hearts. We've got the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Clubs. I will now give the packet a bit of a cotton. And during that cutting, yes, you guessed it, I've now gone and got the Ace of Diamonds coming to the bottom of the packet. I have. And what we'll do is we'll put the Ace of Diamonds next to the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Hearts. And I'll shuffle the packet just because I felt like shuffling the packet. Very therapeutic at times. So, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Diamonds. Now, here's where the magic comes in. If I click over the three cards, I can actually change them from being the Aces into a different card. I can why are you all saying the three? No, I haven't turned that into the three of hearts. I haven't turned that into a three of clubs. I haven't turned that into a three of diamonds. I don't know where you are coming from. I've actually turned that into the queen of hearts and that into the queen of clubs and that into the queen of diamonds. And thank you very much. Yes. Somebody go and slap granny on the back. She's choking on a piece of turkey. Yes, or a Brussels sprout went down the wrong way. Anyway, there we go. That was the trick. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. You just want to see how it's done. I can't hear you. Yeah. All right. That was good enough. You want to see how it was done. Right. You take out the Queen of Hearts, the Queen of Clubs, and the Queen of Diamonds. And you take out the Three of Hearts, the Three of Clubs, and somewhere in here, the Three of Diamonds. Right. Don't use the spade, because obviously the Ace of Spades has always got a bigger pip. Unless your Ace of Spades has got a small pip in, like a normal Ace. And then you can do all four, if you've got one of them packs, you can. Right. All you're going to do is put the corresponding three on the face of your Queens. And put them together, hopefully with the black pack in the middle, so you get corresponding as you're coming out. Remember what suit your bottom card is. Mine is hearts. They go to the bottom of the packet. At this point, you do any kind of false cut or false shuffle you want to do. And I haven't done one of these for a while. Oh, I forgot how to do it then. I haven't done one of these for a while. So I'll have a little go at doing one of these big, mad, fancy, flourish, false shuffles. And there we go. So you keep your six cards on the bottom, right? Your three threes and your three queens. You... You then say that during your little shuffle or your little cut, you're going to cause the Ace of Hearts to go to the bottom. Now, all you want to do is cover the bottom half of the card with this hand so that they can't see the bottom pip or the bottom index, as this hand takes it at the top, so they can't see nothing at the top. So they're just seeing that one pip. As you say, it's the Ace of Hearts. You turn it face down before you move your hand. You don't want to turn it over and let them get a glimpse on the way down on this card. You then just do a glide, so you're just going to slide the three across, just so you can get to the queen, pull the queen out, and put it onto the table. And shuffle the packet. You want to get rid of that three, because you want to now access that three. So you just pinch that bottom card as you take a couple of cards from the top, so that three's gone there. And you shuffle your packet, till you get down to a little bit of cards left, and you take them one card at a time. So you reverse the order of them cards. So you then have a three with a queen with a three with a queen. Right? And your other three is on the bottom, which you now get rid of. Because now you take the top card with the second card and the third card and the fourth card, putting them back into the right order. 
and they're now going back to the bottom as you carry on shuffling the rest of the pack here. And you can now ditch that three somewhere into the packet by dropping it down with a big chunk of cards. You then say, I've now gone and shuffled the Ace of Clubs to the bottom and just like let them get a glimpse. So you can just see a bit of a club under there. Just let them get a glimpse. So you say, I've got the Ace of Clubs. Because obviously you don't see the front of the cards because it's shown to them. You're seeing the back. They think you've made a mistake. You then turn it down and you do the same thing. You're just gliding that bottom card over and taking the Queen out. Then, because that card is sticking out of that side, you just bend it down so you can catch a break on it, so it's separate from the packet. Turn it into a thumb break at the back, cut top half of the packet, swing it over, come across, drop that card on top of that packet, and catch a break between that card and the rest of the packet, as you then swivel that top half and drop that on the top that puts that three on the top but leaves your three and your queen on the bottom you then say i've just gone and shuffled the ace of diamonds to the bottom and i've shuffled the ace of diamonds see what I'm, make it blatant as blatant as you like so they'll think he's messed up he's forgot what he's doing he thinks it's the ace and he's shown as the three but put your hand back again so it looks like <clears throat> You, you just forgotten for a split second. Then again, you just do your little glide and pull out that one. Then just give your packet a little bit of a shuffle. And that loses your threes back into the packet. Look, three of hearts, three of clubs, three of hearts, and somewhere is the three of diamonds, right? <clears throat> you then say, here's the magic. Now I'm going to change them into a different card. And guaranteed, they're all going to start saying, you're going to turn them into a three. To which you can say, no, I'm not going to turn them into a three. And then you turn all the cards over and they're actually the queens. And there we go. Very easy to do, but it will, yeah, probably choke your granny on a Brussels sprout. So don't do it while anybody is eating. No. No. That was my disclaimer. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a go at it at some of your parties, your Christmas lunch, your works night out, works night out, yeah. When everybody's having a bit a bit tipsy, yeah, and especially you, very easy to do. Do it while you're tipsy. And it looks like you've messed the trick up big time, but then you blow the socks off. Hey, and you might get a couple of free drinks. Win, win. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.